usually not that far <laughs> getting the keys down. But travels with Dottie here, and I'm going to demonstrate how convenient things here are in Pahrump. And that's important to me because I <clears throat> spend the middle of November until the middle of March in Quartzsite living in the desert. And although I love it, not everything about it is convenient. But just about everything about living here in Pahrump from the middle of March to the middle of June is very convenient. It's very nice. So I need to get some groceries and I like to go to Smith's and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get to Smith's and once we get in there, I'll show you what it's like inside Smith's. So here we go. The GoPro's around my neck, so you're probably not gonna get a great view of the ride, but that's not really the point. Um, you've seen me make this drive. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen me make this drive um, several times. So it's a Saturday morning. It is, well, just barely Saturday morning. It's 11.39 a.m. On, on the 23rd of March, 2024, and uh, I finished. I had a couple of Zoom meetings this morning, and I went to the, I did a short on the Eggs Benedict breakfast here at Preferred RV Resort in the clubhouse for $6. That's including everything, $6. Eggs, Benedict, sausage, hash browns. Um, could have gotten an extra to toast and juice. Um, and I didn't get those things because I just didn't want them, but I could have gotten them for that same $6. Um, and coffee, which I did get. Um, and it was wonderful. Um, what a deal. And they serve breakfast three times a week here. Um, and uh, I try to go to all of them. I think it's Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, if I'm not mistaken. It's definitely, one of them is definitely Saturday, and the other two are during the week. So, um, I'm going pretty slow here because its speed limit is five, and they're not kidding. Five miles per hour, no joke. Um, <clears throat> one of the residents told me uh, this past year, um, a lady on a walker actually got nailed by a truck driving by. He wasn't paying attention and his mirror knocked her over, knocked her right over on the ground and he didn't stop because he didn't realize he hit anybody. So you gotta go slow and pay attention. Which was um, which exactly what I'm trying to do. There's a guy with his cute little dog we got some people, uh, somebody parked at the front entrance, and so I'm gonna pay attention so they don't pull out in front of me by accident. You know, I was telling, them, <laughs> this, this is a new gate. Um, before it was just that bar, and I swear, during the day, during the week, it was just the bar that, not the full gate, but maybe I was wrong. Um, someone was saying how it's difficult to get out on your bike. Because <laughs> the gate doesn't recognize a bike. I guess you're too small, but we'll see. We'll figure out. We'll figure that out. And there's something here happening. It says a little sign. Let's see what it says. Electronic waste drop off. Okay, if you have electronic waste, they'll take that there this morning. I thought I saw that on the events calendar. Electronic waste, so you don't have to go to um, the the landfill or whatever the equivalent is here. Um, I could have gone through the parking lot here to the right um, just to get the Smiths because it's right next door, but I'll do it properly. I won't cut through a parking lot since a few hundred people may watch me do this. <laughs> I want to do it right. 
boy, I had a Pahrump tour um, video last year or the year before, and I still get views on it. And, <clears throat> you know, I was talking, one of the things I was talking about is the high level of accidents in Pahrump. And I, uh, in the video I was over, I was leaving Home Depot, and there's kind of a road um, that goes off from the side of road um, Home Depot it goes straight, then you make a right to get back to the road, and it's just in the desert. There's nothing out there. And for some inexplicable reason at that intersection, they have a stop sign. And it's like, you can see like a mile in either direction. And I went through that stop sign while I was doing the video, and oh boy, do I get nasty comments about running this horrible person running that stop sign. Um, so I've learned my lesson about being scrupulous when I'm recording and publishing this stuff to make sure I do everything right and according to the law um, so I don't get people upset. And it's kind of hard to make an argument with someone that points that out. Um, the nasty ones, I think I just, um, I just deleted, but even the nasty ones weren't wrong. All right. Signaling, see, I signal my, my turn more than 500 feet ahead. You see there's a Taco Bell here on the corner, and then there's also a, a, a Burger King here over the other side of Smith's, but this is Smith's, and they also have gas here. So if you go to Smith's and you do the rewards program, um, you'll get pretty nice after a while. You get a pretty nice discount there at the gas place, and that's what I do when I'm in Prop. I use my rewards at... It's Smith's. So here we are. We will park and go in and do some grocery shopping. All right, I'm gonna stop the recording and I'll restart it once I get in there because I wanna make a couple of adjustments. Thanks. The adjustment I made was um, to turn the front screen off because it's pretty obvious that I'm actively recording of this front screens on and it kind of freaks people out a little bit. Just having this around my neck, I'll probably get some odd looks or maybe even some questions. I'll probably turn it off um, when I go to check out just because, you know, it's kind of close up and personal for the cashier. And if I have any conversations with people, if I want to leave it in, I'll ask them. Um, if I see anybody on, when I'm editing that looks at all uncomfortable, I will remove it. They always have specials out here in the front. Almost always have shrimp on special. They have a US bank branch here. Guys, I know it's a little expensive, but I love these sort of single serving instant meals here that they have here. Let's see. They have big ones. That's for a whole family. I'm looking, I'm looking. How about shrimp penny pasta? That looks like a good one. And this butter chicken looks good too with rice. We'll try those two this time. Let me have some green bean casserole. Reduced. I'm not sure. Not so sure I like that. And 
here, let's see some cheeses. I got plenty of cream cheese that's kind of stock in my kitchen. But sliced cheese, I'm always seeming to be needing sliced cheese. And I think it's down a little bit further. So sometimes you have to just be patient with folks. They eventually move. So we have a special here, two for $7, which is good. So let's definitely get two Swiss cheese. My favorite sliced cheese. Look at this beautiful produce. And you know, I have some cold cuts, but they were from Dollar Store, and I'm not a big fan. I think I'm gonna throw it away. It just doesn't feel right. Um, so let's see what we got here. This looks nice, prime fresh smoked ham. I don't know, turkey breast. You know, Hillshire, it's a dollar savings if you go with the Kroger brand. And Kroger, same company as uh, Smith's, by the way. Honey, uncured ham. What does uncured mean? Tell me in the comments. What would cured ham be and what's uncured ham? Not that I'm gonna buy any produce, but I'm gonna walk through. Give you guys a peek of what it's like. There is a limit, and that limit is What? So we got plenty of tortillas, plenty of sliced bread. Soup, canned vegetables, canned beans. Wow, that's loud. We need to do something about that. That's horrible. Foils and wraps. I wonder if this is a place I could get freezer bags. I bet it is. Foils and bags. Okay, freezer slider bags. Do I want gallon bags or do I want quart? How about double zipper? Double zipper to quart bags. Well, we'll try that. Is one of the things that I've discovered is as I make dishes in the Instant Pot, even though it's a small Instant Pot, um, not everything lasts long in the fridge. So if I divide them up and put them in the freezer, I won't waste as much food.
And you know what? I know these are more money, but damn, these are good. I just had this last night, so I don't need to get another one of those. But um, these uh, pesto tortellini and the, what's the other one? Um, uh, Mexican casserole are amazing. They're on sale though for a little under five dollars, four ninety nine. Uh, let's see, ice cream. We could use some ice cream. Yes, we can. You know, my favorite ice cream is often difficult to find because it's like a raspberry swirl. So I used to have as a, as a kid. And it doesn't look like, let's see. I saw something close back here. Um, this is called Strawberry Surf. So we'll try this. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, but I think it's the closest that I see to what I like. I'm still looking, hopefully looking, but you know, they had it in uh, Quartzite in, I think, uh, Roadrunner, the market, the little private market there had it. And guess what? I'm out of cookies. And please do not lecture me on diabetes and sugar when I buy cookies in the grocery store. Lots of people buy cookies. Cookies are okay in moderation. See so dog and cat food. Oh, we need some cat food. We are running low on cat food. Where is cat? That is dog. Cat, cat, cat. I need Josh. I need the other Josh. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, there's some cat food. We got plenty of dog food that we make for Dottie. That's what do we have here. Cookie aisle. We have plenty of crackers. We need some kind of interesting cookies. I'm kind of tired of the same old, same old. Let's see what we can do for something different. Now, I just got shocked. Static electricity. Sandy shortbread. Um, those are $5.49, but you can get them in quartzite at the uh, uh, grocery liquidators. Maybe they're outdated, but you know they're they're a dry, crisp cracker anyway. Two bucks. But $5.49 is not that bad. And let's get one other kind. I don't know. I think those are just going to have to do. I don't see anything else that's very exciting. Oh, pepperidge farm, maybe. Which way are we going? 
<laughs> okay. Out of the way. <laughs> All right, so I got soft baked cookies, chocolate, and then I'm pretty sure. Let's see, do we have water down here? I don't think so. I think it's this aisle for the water, and we want to go inexpensive on the water. And let's see. All departments recycling is now open. Attention, all departments. Recycling is now open. So, here's an interesting thing. Apparently, there's a Smith's card. And if you download it, which I don't think I have it. So, let's see if I have it. Do I have Smith's? I do. I um, don't know how this works. It's too confusing. Um, someone was telling me that if you, <clears throat> if you scan, you can get extra savings, but it's just, and they did say it's extremely complicated to do correctly, and the directions are not correct, so I'm going to pass on the 50 cents. I just spent probably $10 a time trying to save 50 cents. We are in the pharmacy. Oh, I'm sorry, you need to get back? No, I'm behind you, actually. I'm gonna try these um, serotonin gummies.
where do I see butter? Not here. Probably around this way. And when I say butter, sadly, I don't mean real butter. And this is the stuff, it's called Smart Balance. And I just like the taste of it. I can't help myself. I love the taste of it. And I do use real butter for cooking. But I have plenty of that. Let's see, is there anything else? I use these to squirt in my waters because I used to buy flavored water and spend way too much money for it. So I flavor my own water. And yes, people say, you should get a Berkey filter and just, you know, save that. But I don't have room for a Berkey filter. <laughs> I really don't. I have zero room. I've got the, you know, the Instant Pot, the, um, <clears throat> The, the Instant Pot and the air fryer are fighting for room and shelf space. And I think I'm going to go through the self-checkout. We'll see how that goes. So I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Somehow I got the 50% discount. I'll have to figure out how the hell I made that happen. Um, let's see. All right, we got cut off there just because the camera overheated. But um, I don't know if you noticed that, but I got the extra 50 cents off on the water. Um, I don't know how, but somehow something I did on the app connected to my discount and I got the the, uh, the club price plus an extra 50 cents. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> no idea, it was very confusing. Um, I wish I figured it out because I'd like to use that in the future. But for all the stuff that you saw me get, it was $116. And it says I saved $4.78 by being a um, loyalty club member. I don't know whether that includes the 50 cents or not. But um, I'll edit this down a little bit and take, a, take the tedious parts out. bags of groceries. I 
I do remember working in the grocery store in Northern New Hampshire when I was 16 years old. E.M. Heath in Meredith, New Hampshire. I think it's called Harvest now. The Heath family is long, long sold out. But I remember one of the duties being Rob, you need to go out and collect grocery carts. I did quite a bit of that that summer. I think I worked there two summers, if I recall correctly. All right, well, that is it. This is gonna be followed by a, um, um, I think it's a five times speed walk with Dottie through the RV park, but you can see just um, how easy it is to get here. And I'll tell you what, I don't think there's a thing illegal about it. I'm going to show you how I can go through these two parking lots to get home. And I can, on the way, I can show you where the Burger King is and where the, uh, the casino with the bowling alley is. So here's the Burger King right here. And there's a water station there. And over on the right, you probably can't see it. There's a pawn shop. Oh, and you know what? They had the right of way. Um, I had to stop some. They didn't. Sorry. So cross traffic here has the right of way. And it says me and stop signs in uh, Pahrump. I don't know. Um, but down here to the left, it says bowling. That's where you park for the bowling alley. And I think they have a bowling group on Friday mornings, I think. It's on the agenda. I'll have to check that out. Usually I'm pretty busy with my um, Zoom sessions on Friday, so I might not ever be able to do the Friday bowling, but that, it'd be nice to maybe one week to schedule around it so I'd be able to go. Um, or maybe I could find somebody that just wants to go bowling at not necessarily an organized time. So we're passing the casino right here. And there's another stop sign up here. With this stop sign, I'm gonna take a left and I'll be home. Now, I know both are these casinos, the restaurants, and I haven't tried either one, but maybe I'll maybe I'll do that and review them. How's that sound? So we'll have a prompt restaurant review. All right, here we go. Stop sign. Make a full stop. Let that guy go. I guess that stop sign back there, I didn't miss it. Hey, there's a tumble, look at, there's a tumbleweed in front of me. Um, I didn't miss, I didn't not stop at that stop sign back there, but it was a late stop for sure. But I let the guy go through. Um, anyway, we are back home and I'm gonna try again to see if I can make this uh, fob open the gate, but I bet they, they open it for me before I can make it happen. I want to try this. Is this You've been dying to try it. Yeah, it's not working for me, is it? Yeah, it's just shut the gate. Oh, what? It's only for the gate. Oh, it's only for the gate. Yeah, oh, okay. Do this. I didn't know that. Okay, I got it. All right. Okay. I just want to make sure it works. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, I just got educated there. It's for the gate, not the bar that goes up and down. I was confused. And it worked, but I was watching the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, now I get it. So anyway, you don't want to watch me drive the rest of the way in here. It'll bore you to tears. So that's going to be it. Thank you. See you on the walk in a minute here. Hey, good morning, Travels with Dottie. This is a five times speed walk with Dottie on March 23rd, 2024. There's Dottie. Dottie, you wanna go for a walk? Let's go.
So thanks for joining me both on my trip to Smith's to get some groceries and the fast walk with Dottie. I will see you all on the next video and thank you for taking your time to watch and listen to me.